Hello, hi, good morning. Happy to be connected. In this video, we are going to learn how to use Project Browser in Revit 2025. Okay. In the earlier version, also we have Project Browser. Um, so that's a difference between earlier version and Revit 2025. So we are going to uh, see the differences, and I'm going to show you how to use. For the beginners, this video will be very useful. So please watch this video till the end so that you will understand better. Okay. So what is Project Browser? If I open Revit 2024, So what we have here is Revit 2025. Okay, so I'm going to show you in Revit 2024. And then we will see here. So what is the change? I'm opening Revit 2024. So let's give some time to open. Okay, so here, in case if you are creating a new project, you are creating a new project. So you have chosen a template and you are creating a new project. So that time, so when you, when a project is created, so you will get a blank screen. So in some application, I will get a project browser and properties palette. So in case if you don't get, then you can right click. And under browser, you can select project browser. We have different browser, so you have to select project browser. Okay, so now we are getting this palette project browser. Okay, so here you can dock it and you can undock. You can also keep it in the next screen. You can also keep it in the next screen. Okay, this is a dockable window and in case if you want to open properties you can right click and here you can select properties if you select any item that will show the properties of a selected item okay so now if you want to keep properties and project browser in the same place you can do that okay so you you can do that in the top now it is properties and in the bottom we have project browser okay so we can also do it in a, next to each other we can also keep it like this okay so in the bottom we'll have a tab for properties and project browser so we can switch between these two okay, so that's how you can dock properties and project browser okay now we are focusing on project browser only okay so let's remove this properties from here okay let it be here in the earlier version of Revit okay so we have search option in Revit 2024 we have a search option so if you search level then it will show the page the family whichever has the key word here it shows level it's a key word and it's showing level 0 floor plan level 1 floor plan level 0 ceiling plan and it also shows a level head symbol of annotation family okay in it, it also shows a family okay so this bar is used to sort or filter the available items in the project browser list 
okay it's a list and every item is coming under a folder okay and coming under a topic let's say i have these plans but that comes under floor plans i have these views that comes under ceiling plan okay so that kind of folders we have we can also manage how these items are getting listed here we can right click we can go to project browser organization so here we have browser organization and here you can edit so what are the items you want to see you can filter or we can filter and you can group them under topics like by discipline by family and types you can also sort by ascending or descending order okay so this is about project organization properties okay so this is in revit 2024 so the same we have it in revit 2025 okay in the earlier version we will not see this rectangle okay these rectangles are there for a purpose these rectangles are there for a purpose um, for example if i have a sheet and when i add a view to a sheet so this rectangle will become blue so that time i can i can understand that this view is already used okay so i don't have to use the same view again i can duplicate and i can place it in the second sheet okay in the earlier version it was not available so usually we'll try to drag and place and it will show a error message okay now with the indication we can understand that this view is already uh, used in a sheet okay now let's go to revit 2025 okay so this is revit 2025 and here we have a project browser it comes with the same functionality of uh, of earlier version and uh, we also have a new function okay so what's new so here we can search if I search level, then I will get all the views which has a level, and I can also see the families which has the keyword level. Okay, it's all the same. Um, so similar to Revit 2024, uh, but in the earlier version, we will not see the search option. So what you have to do is in the earlier version, you have to select the first views views. Okay and right click and here we will get an option to search so there you can search and that will show uh, the keyword so in the project browser what we have we have all the views okay so we have view and we have legend and we have schedules and sheets families and group then we have revit links what is revit link in case if you are linking architecture structure and map in your master file or any original file if you want to link then it will come under revit links title so if you want to check um, revit links you can also go to manage links option so here also you will see all the links all the revit links ifc links cad formats everything you can check under manage manage links okay so here also you can open you can right click and you can open manage links the same dialog box will appear here okay we have groups we have 2d detail group and uh, 3d model group families all the revit families are uh, listed under 
families so it will come under categories so you can search okay so in revit 2025 we don't have a search option here so we can directly search in the top and whatever the sheets you create it will be listed under sheets and all the schedules will be listed under schedules all the legends will come under legends all the views will come under views okay but these views are arranged in a way how this organization works okay for example here if we if i go to edit this is just a name only browser organization profile fe if i say edit and you can see the settings here filter we have filter option we have grouping and sorting option so, so we are grouping and sorting by family and type then by none okay so family and type matters it comes in ascending order sort by associated level ascending order okay so if i open here so this will give in ascending order based on the associated level okay this is about project browser in case if you're having any doubt in project browser please let me know okay so in case if you don't see this project browser just right click and select browser project browser easy you can dock it on the left or right you can also keep project browser and properties in the same place okay so i hope this video is useful if you're having any doubt please contact me on my whatsapp number thank you Bye-bye.